guys so i'm back with another comparison video yes. those who are new to my channel one thing i do want to mention is that i have reviewed a lot of products i mean in the hundreds at this point and i started a series about it's been about two or three years where i compared cleansing products meaning shampoos and conditioners if it's under five dollars and if you can buy it from walmart i have reviewed it seriously so i will be linking in the cards several of those videos very very affordable that's what i try to bring to you guys because not everyone can go and spend 10 15 dollars hell sometimes i don't want to spend eight dollars on a product if, especially if i could get very good results so and speaking of affordable products we will be reviewing blue magic hair grease now i got on the bandwagon a little bit um last year when i did a collaboration with my girl angel aka nancy naps i know some of you are subscribed to her and she uses blue magic mostly as a sealant to seal in her hair but i personally have used it as a styling product i figure hey for $2.50? Yeah, I got both of these on sale for $2.50. Let me try to use this as a styling product. Now, I have videos on both products where I've reviewed them. So let's just jump right into it, y'all. So we have the blue, which is the original formula, anti-breakage. Okay, let's open up. And this smells like grease, y'all. This smells like, oh, this smells like your traditional grease. I have a lot of it left because I honestly don't use it as much. I have different type of grease, greases back there too. So it's not something that I use all the time. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Now the green one has a little bit more ingredients. So let's go over that real quick, okay? The first two ingredients for both products or petroleum and linoleum, okay? Then that's where it switches up for the green one, which has the bergamot, which by the way, if I remember correctly, is a citrus, um, like a citrus fragrance almost. So, and that's towards the end of the ingredient. So where it differs at now with the green one, it has olive oil, okay? Um, and it has a lot more alcohols. The blue one has mineral, mineral oil. I didn't see mineral oil in the green one, all right? So we're gonna do this classic split my hair down the middle. We're gonna do blue on this side, green on this, green on this side. Now y'all know my hair is blown out. It's stretched out. There is no way I could just style my hair with or use that grease as a styler. I'm gonna be adding extreme wet line gel. Um, I'm gonna take down my hair and see whether or not it needs to be moisturized. If it does not need to be moisturized, we're not gonna add any moisture. My hair is blown out. This is the third day of the blowout. Look at my silver hair. Yeah, one of you help us with wondering. Yeah, girl, I got six six strands of gray hair up in here. Um, I'm not too concerned about uh, shrinkage. I I've done what I need to do with my hair in this blown out stage. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to twist my hair. I'm gonna be using or doing small to small medium twists. So I do apologize, I am recording a chit chat video here, um, which I've already loaded up. So what I'm gonna be doing is applying the grease first and then the wet line extreme gel on top of the grease. Um, and I know a couple of you are probably wondering why am I using gel? Well, because my hair is blown out and I'm gonna need a little bit more hold. The grease is not gonna do anything. I'm gonna need something. Um, I also did use a leave-in sporadically, um, but I wasn't as uh, consistent. I also use water as needed. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna continue to twist my hair.
right, you guys, so <clears throat> I am done. Child, I am a greasy mess, but that is okay. So um, I'm going to, more than likely, I will um, do hanging Bantu knots in like two more days. No, 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 tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna pull this all the way back like this. Hey you guys, so I'm back a couple of days later. Now I had to add perm rods because I felt like my hair was not going to, yeah, I wasn't feeling the ends. Um, again, the blue magic, the blue is on this side and the green is on the other side. So, I'm gonna try to take my time to unravel this, but we shall see. defined but it's it's the bottom is doing something different it, it looks defined but messy it's like i've defined messy ones this is a little bit more uniformed you see that see the difference the curls are actually this is like pop locking and dropping i mean i don't <laughs> and the bottom is more weighted girl terminology you see the difference y'all this is straight down though this has more volume on this side um let's un let's separate one just to further okay and then let's do this this side i'm trying to separate separate one that's very similar okay so it's definitely going to be this side um just separating can you see the, see the difference what is that grease spot or what that is on my shirt but we, we still gonna slay this hairstyle though <laughs> so all right you guys almost done here it is very beautiful y'all i am very proud of myself as far as far as my hair goes um i've really given my hair some tlc this year and it has paid it definitely has so here's my final result all right you guys so i am done unraveling i did separate a little more than i thought i would um overall it's a close call, you guys, but I do like this side. Even though it's not as fuller, I prefer this side as opposed to this side. This side is fuller. If I used the blue original for my entire head, I would be okay. But this side is a sexy mess. I may be okay with that. <laughs> I prefer this side as far as definition and neatness. The blue versus the green, and the green with the bergamot is what won this one. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all my subscribers. Take care.